Hey you guys, and welcome back to the Timber River Project, where we attempt to recreate the setting from that ambitious book on Amazon and, and Smashwords, Tales from the Creature Keeper. This episode, I have a very special guest. Why don't we bring him in here? Come on! That's it. Here we go, Trico. Tempo, Tipo, and Trico. These guys are going to, uh, make my iron farms work and my villager trading hall work. Let's get this guy set up right now, shall we? Always splash myself with that. Can't really help it. I can afford to do a villager curing like that because, well, just look at all the loot I've gotten from mining lately. It's interesting to note that I, uh, have, um more lapis than I do iron, thanks to those fortune enchantments. Wow. But I'm still gonna make an iron farm anyway, because as long as it's not a renewable resource, it'll just feel kinda too awesome to use. Oh, I also have over four stacks of diamonds now. Zoomavoid once said that the uh, thing about diamonds is that you have to go looking for them, and most people don't have the patience to do that, and it seems he's been right about that all along. Okay, what else was I going to... Oh, yes, um... Take a look at my picks here. Yeah, I made some extras with all the iron. Um, This pick here, which is my... Silk Touch one. It's uh, gotten really worn out, which is one of the big reasons I need to uh, get that trading hall set up. I used Silk Touch to get all this loot. Look at all this beautiful stuff. Mining the Flash Stone was very treacherous, what with all the uh, ghasts uh, shooting at me, but I somehow managed to do it without dying. There are just some platforms hovering in empty space in the nether right now. And the thing is, I'm not going to use my diamonds to make a new pick to repair that Silk Touch pick. They're, they're just way too important. I have other plans for them. However, if I get a villager trading hall set up, then I'll be able to buy diamond picks from blacksmiths. I'm going to buy, uh, like, a dozen double chests uh, of them. Okay, you guys, stay here. You get along nice, all right? I'm going to go uh, set up the uh, villager breeder machine made by, what was it? Uh, Tango Tech, that's right. I'm going to be building Tango Tech's villager breeder. Back at that uh, hole I uh, dug once before. Let, let me take you there now. Thought I'd take a moment to show off my mining operation so you can see uh, how I got so rich. It involved collecting a lot of rocks, which are valuable building material, actually. Uh, you generally want to hang on to all the cobblestone you find, because it can be turned into repeaters, comparators, nice bricks, and other things. But anyway, this is my branch mining operation here. It has three levels. One, two, three. Last one is at, let's see, level Y5, that's right where the bedrock starts, so that's a nice place to stop, and uh, it also allows me to take a good pick and uh, just uh, dig through a wall um, non-stop without having to stretch the ceiling uh, out over my head. Ooh! Treasure already. I'll get that later. Anyway, um, the way this works is uh, I also stagger out the shafts themselves, so like I have on the first floor I have shaft one, oops, um, <laughs> okay, my pick is more efficient than I thought, but basically I have shaft one, two, three, shaft one, two, three, on the level below that I have two, three, shaft one, two, three, shaft one, two, like that, and then on the third level it's back to shaft one, two, three, shaft one, two, three. That allows me to cover a lot of ground efficiently, I think, and uh, hopefully uh, that tip will uh, help out a lot of you uh, other miners out there. Okay, you, time to go for a ride. Come on, get get in there. Go, go, come on. Oh, do I dare to punch the villager? Um, in the co There we go. 
Alright, time to uh, take this guy through to his... Uh, where, where, did, where am I? There we go. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, let me get the gate for you. I had to make some... Come back here! Oh, I hope this doesn't get to be a hassle. Actually, you know, since I'm do since I'm planning to be such a mechanical maniac this episode, I suppose I should declare a magic talisman to help me out. And I think this time it's going to be go <laughs> come back here. No. no. Yeah, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to declare Mumbo Jumbo as my uh, action figure spiritual advisor thingy cuz Oh, is that a good idea? I mean, he's uh, a renowned YouTuber, uh, best known for his redstone devices. He even built a whole iron foundry on the Hermitcraft server. Up the slope, come on. There we go. But he has not done too much with villagers overall. I mean, he's built the iron foundry, but he's never... Uh, done a trading hall or anything else, so I wonder if Mumbo might actually bring me bad luck if I use him this episode. Oh, well, I guess there's only way to find... only one way to find out. Come on, over here. This is your stop. Here we go. Okay, this is my worn-out silk touch pick. You can probably see some water down there. Um, yeah, let's... Bye, glass. I'll get you in a bit. All right. Out of there. Yeah. Down the hole. Down the hole. Come on. Down the... Yes! Ah! It worked! No, 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 no. Get back here! Oh. Get back in your little... Unfortunately, Tango Tech's villager breeder requires three villagers, not two. And where are those stairs? Okay. You, up here. This is your new home. Get in. Get. Come on, come on. Get in the... <laughs> stop Stop beeping at me with your text window. Up, up the stairs. Up the stairs. Up, up, up. Come on. Get in there. Aren't you, aren't you supposed to be attracted to doors or something? Come on. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. Oh, I can't. The... Hmm. No, I, I don't want to do anything with the pool of water yet, because I'm going to have to drop two more... V oh, actually, I won't have to drop the other two villagers in the same spot, though, so I think I can afford to cover that up. Eliminate this, and you. Yeah. Up. Uh, this. Come on. It's a door! Don't you like doors? Get... Oh, boy. Th this is... Yeah, this is going to be a hassle uh, due to game reasons and pet reasons, I guess. Why won't you get... hang on. No, that's... Come on, come on, it's it's open, it's... get, get, get in there. Come on, come on. No. Get in the space. Oh, yes, yes, just like... there we go! Victory! Okay. That was probably uh, the uh, hardest part. Um, the uh, other two villagers I have a much more direct plan for. Okay, Mumbo, don't disappoint me. Last. Progress update. Uh, you know how Mumbo Jumbo generally has uh, trouble working with redstone in a survival? Well, that curse uh, kind of struck me too. I uh, modified Tango Tech's design a little. I uh, put the um, redstone mechanics uh, one block lower than uh, he did in his instructional video, and at first I thought that was a mistake. So I tore the whole thing down, and uh, then I realized, wait, I didn't have to do that. I just needed to lower this piston by one block to make it work. And so then I rebuilt it twice. The other mistake I made was when I uh, went to uh, dig out these uh, shafts to uh, drop the villagers in and then uh, bring them back up, I dug in the wrong spot the first time. 
So I had to pillar that uh, up. I had to pillar up and uh, correct that. And now it's time for the most monotonous part. I have to um, make this uh, shaft here into a water elevator. Too bad I uh, can't use the rain that's coming down to fill this up. Oh well. I better make this uh, as painless for myself as possible. Let's see. I am going to put my infinite water source back. I moved it. No. There we go. No! <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. This extra sign is here uh, just as a placeholder. I'll be putting that back eventually. And it would be so easier if I uh, did this well. Say, uh, if I could do this with ice blocks or. No! <laughs> I just... why? It shouldn't be this hard! <laughs> okay, shift, click, scoop the water. This is going to take quite a long... Why? Oh my gosh, did I miss a block? I'm... Yeah, there's some undertow here. I think I missed a block. Let's... Oh, brother. Yeah, this is going to be uh, monotonous, take a while. Um, I really wish I had some uh, ice blocks that I could just place and then break, but um, locating a cold biome would probably take even longer, so... No way around it, I guess. Next stop, villager breeding station. You'll be arriving right before the zombies come out, so uh, please uh, hurry up and get into that uh, little hole there, which I have prepared for you. It'll be a shelter from the things that want to eat your... Oops! Um, sorry about that, ma'am. Uh, just go down here where you'll be safe. Bye! Ha 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 ha, sucker. Alright, now let's see how this turned out. Now the, this is too slow. <laughs> so much fun to do. Ah, yes. Oh yeah, you can hear the uh, zombies, and the, they probably smell the villagers here and want at them. So, how are you two doing in there? I should probably flick off the lever uh, to get them. Let's see. Huh. Oh well. Yeah, okay, anyway, whenever that piston feels like firing, that glass will eliminate the water source, and then this will, uh, be all set up at last, except that I almost for- no! I almost forgot to eliminate this sign. Blub! Um, where's my glass? Where's my glass? Uh... There we go. Okay. Put that there. And with that, that should do it. Okay. Uh, oh, um, one change I made, which I didn't mention last time, is uh, that um, Tango Tech's design uh, uses a daylight sensor to determine when to uh, shove the babies into place, but I went with a hopper timer instead, because um, I thought a, a daylight sensor seemed like a smart idea at first, you know, because it counts down for 20 minutes, and that's how long it takes uh, babies to grow up. But, um, then I realized that rain can possibly, uh, mess the up that timing system. So I went for the hopper timer, which is more stable. It'll probably fire every 5 to 10 minutes instead of 20 minutes, which is more often than it needs to, but it should be a lot more stable. What else was I going to mention while I was down here? Um, something like... Yeah, there we go. Just fired now. That water should be gone. Let's check that. Yep! Okay. Rolex chest OTP. 
You guys going to start making uh, new villagers for me soon, please, so I can verify that this works? Um, are you too scared because of the zombies nearby? Come on. It'll probably be fine. It, it takes a while before they uh, get warmed up and feel ready. Three times! I've had to rebuild this stupid contraption three times now! And you know what the craziest thing was? I was right in the first place! Remember the... I said I tore it down the first time because I thought, Oh, all the mechanics are one block too low! Well, it turns out that this villager breeder runs on a uh, glitch, which I didn't know at first. I looked it up, and it turns out that uh, if you uh, space the villagers apart j just so from the center of the village... Uh, notice how I have uh, three blocks sandwiched in between them and the doors now instead of just two? But if you space them out just right like that, then they will breed indefinitely. Forever! That's how this thing works! It's no wonder Mo Yang sought is seeking to fix it in the 1.8 update. And speaking of which, you may be asking, CK, what are you going to do when you upgrade to 1.8 and this breaks? Well, I'm actually going to keep these mechanics in place. Instead, I'm just going to find a way to, um, I'll probably take out this wall here you can, and uh, install a new kind of uh, villager breeder uh, that I, I believe Doc M has invented a useful one. You can see I've already started to do digging here because there are a lot of zombies in there somewhere. I started wondering where the heck is all that moaning coming from? But anyway, breeder is fixed, it works, and uh, Mumbo, if you're watching, do something, uh, make yourself a villager trading hall, okay? I I've, I've asked you to do that in, on your videos and even on Twitter, and I probably come off as rather annoying for it, but uh, when I saw you repair all your diamond picks that one time with real, actual diamonds, you could have saved those precious valuables if you had repaired them with diamond picks you got from villager blacksmiths instead. So uh, get yourself a villager trading hall. It's it's very resource friendly. Save you a lot in the long run. Alright, I've been wanting to do this project for ages. I have just finished pillaring up to maximum build height. And let's see, I am at 255, so one, two, three, three. Four. Wow, my frames per second are in the gutter. What? what? Why? Oh well. Let's see. Now I do have a. Oops. Um. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's not where the pool is. Oh. Well, at least I know where all my stuff is. Um. That was totally unplanned. <laughs> Okay, um... <laughs> Let me, uh, just gather up my remains here, and take you up this ladder. You can see the, uh, pillar that goes to maximum build height there, and this is the swimming pool that was supposed to save me when I leapt off. And this is the first, um, iron golem spawning chamber. If we dig in here or take a peek behind one of these doors, we can see a glass casing where the villagers will go. And uh, there's another one on that side, too. This chamber is uh, about 16... Let's, let's, um, 16 by 16? Yeah, because that's the um, maximum area in which golems will spawn in the center of a village. Now, let's see. I... I used like two and a half stacks of material to get all the way up there. That's the that's the really horrible thing about dying just now. It messed up my addition. That's although hmm. No, I had twenty six, so that means I had okay. So of the uh four stacks I used to get up there, there was this much left. That means um 
64 plus 64 is 128, plus 34 is 162, I believe, which means that, um, where are my torches? Oh, I already had some. Okay, so, 62, 162 divided by 2 is 81, so I have to go up 81 blocks from this point, and that's where the ch second uh, spawning chamber will be. The uh, third one will be at the very top, at build height. Hopefully I won't die again when I go to build that. Okay, and so this is all coming along very nicely. The only real challenge is going to be uh, getting the uh, living natives of this world into these glass pockets so they can give birth to the villages around here. Boy, I feel kind of like Dr. Robotnik. I mean, this machine is powered by the forsaken souls of the innocents! <laughs> okay, anyway, how am I going to get the villagers in there? Well, the Enrichment Center suggests that we think with portals. Two golem spawning modules done, only one to go. You'll see that I've uh, made a slight change to uh, the traditional design. Uh, from experience, I have learned that if you have only a 2x2 two two hole for the golems to fall into, then they, two golems will occasionally uh, get stuck bumping into each other indefinitely, and they'll never get flushed down the system. So what I've done in all these modules is I've made a 4x4 four four hole using signs to hold back the water. Now all I have to do is uh, journey uh, down to this last module here, which is the closest to Earth, and uh, place the water there, then I'll be all done. The uh, portal system worked very well for getting the villagers into place. I uh, just had to disable the portal in my base uh, so that the only portal portal available working was the one that I uh, set up by the uh, villager chambers and as you can see um, the farm is already working splendidly got a c they're fearsome looking things aren't they huh that one down there looks kind of agitated okay what the what? What do you? What did I do to you? Well, okay, uh, maybe a mumbo jumbo action figure is bad luck, but also, why do I have zero? Even though I have fourteen levels, what? Okay, um. Well, I hope you guys are happy. Were they upset because I was slaughtering villagers earlier? A bunch of them um, did uh, end up scattered around here at the bottom, and so I had to dispose of them all. Excuse me. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, it may take me a moment to get this sorted out. Well... So much for that amazing first iron harvest. In order to uh, get all my stuff back, I had to pillar up to the uh, top of the first uh, golem module here and uh, lava all the darn things from a safe distance. But with that, 
It's done. It's finally complete. And, well, maybe some of it... Huh. Okay, a fair amount of it did survive. Okay, that's, um... All right, so that's a happier end than I thought. But, man, was that a pain. I died, like, six times trying to get all my stuff back. I mean, at first I just tried uh, rushing past the golems, thinking that, you know, maybe since they killed me once or twice, they got their jollies out. But since I had to slaughter a lot of villagers that, is, that fell out of the glass pockets and onto the grass here, I guess I perma permanently tanked my reputation in this small artificial village. Oh, well, that's just how it goes, I guess. Fortunately, uh, Mumbo's bad luck uh, does not extend to my ability to fight creepers. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, there's a skeleton. Yeah, I'm gonna need my levels back, thank you. So, there we go. That is a triple deluxe iron farm all set up. I was going to go on to the villager trading hall next, but I think after all the pain and injuries I've suffered, I'm just going to call it here for now. So, stay safe, especially if you see any menacing iron men nearby, and I'll see you at the next one.